Did you know that Google just announced the general rollout of a Google Forms feature that we have been asking for for a long time? Want to know what it is? Stick around to find out. Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle Rochford and I post videos that help students, teachers, and parents through the online schooling process. Now, a really exciting announcement was made by Google just the other day. Um, this is something that I know my students and I have been wanting for a very, very long time and it has to do with Google Forms. As of Tuesday, August 3, Google is rolling out the ability in Google Forms to automatically save responses on both Google Forms and Google Form quizzes. Now, this is an amazing thing. I know for my students and I, we've been wanting this for quite a while and I've been beta testing it with my students um, probably for the past three months or so. Now, what happens is when you are responding to a Google form, a quiz or quiz assignment in classroom, while you're signed into your Google account, your progress will automatically be saved as a draft for 30 days from your last edit. The only thing that students have to do to have their work saved in progress is to make sure that they're signed into their Google accounts. And that shouldn't be too hard to remember if the student has access to the form through Google Classroom. Now, this is something that I know not only my students and I wanted, but um, when many um, teachers and students went online, um, it was a highly requested feature. Um, and one of the reasons why it is, is because it helps to ensure that you don't have to start over. Um, so for example, um, say you're not able to finish a quiz or a Google form in one sitting, um, then this means that you don't have to, you're not required to keep it uh, there and finish it in one go. Right. Um, maybe if you have to switch between multiple devices, well, this is something that will help you with that. Um, or if you happen to lose uh, the connection to your internet, it doesn't mean that you have lost all of your information anymore. And so this is actually a really, really positive thing. Now, teachers, you don't need to worry. You don't have to take any additional action to uh, make sure that this is enabled. Um, it is a feature that is automatically turned on by default, okay? And that is starting, well, it started, I should say, Tuesday, August 3rd, and they are working on rolling it out. And all Google Workspace domains should have the feature by September 15th. Now, if for um, any reason you might want to disable this autosave feature, all you need to do is uh, go to the Google form that you'd like to disable it on, go to settings, presentation, and then restrictions, and you select disable autosave for all respondents. This is such a great feature to finally have available to us. Um, students no longer are gonna have to start over if say they get disconnected from the internet or um, a, a class ends before they've finished answering all of the questions on the form. You know, there are some situations where you might not want students to be able to come back to the Google form to finish it after they've started. Um, so for example, if a student is intentionally taking a long time to answer quiz questions um, so that they can return later after looking up the answers, in that case, you can disable the autosave option on that particular form. But I know I, for one, am super excited for this rollout, and I hope that you are able to put it to good use as well.